Please make sure to keep your cameras and mics off whilst we'll pre we present to help the presentation run smoothly. And if you have any questions throughout the presentation, please feel free to submit them in the chat box where we will try to answer them at the end of the presentation during our interactive Q&A on all things iGEM. So with that being said, we can now begin with Luke's introduction on synthetic biology. Okay, so, so with modernization and global industrialization, there is a variety of global issues that are requiring an increasing number of new solutions. There is the issue with declining biodiversity and the increasing risk of extinction for a variety of species across the globe. As humanity pushes the boundaries of life expectancy, there is also an increase in non-communicable diseases, as well as the ever-present threat of infectious diseases made clear by the rapid spread of COVID-19 throughout this year. Plastic pollution is a well-acknowledged problem, which goes hand in hand with the increasing demand for the development and application of renewable resources and a replacement for fossil fuels. A lack of access to sanitation and clean water remain to this day, along with hunger and malnutrition. Finally, there is the issue of fast fashion, consumerism, and industrial pollution, all of which are continuously contributing to climate change. It is essential that we think outside the box and use our ingenuity and creativity to find solutions to these problems, and these solutions are being pioneered by synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is the ability to design and construct new biological parts and the redesigning of biological systems for useful purposes. This allows us to take pre-existing aspects of biology and combine them to form something new. There is an incredible amount of diversity in life, so when designing new biological components to achieve a specific outcome or perform a specific function, the sky is the limit. Although synthetic biology is a relatively new field, it has been used extensively to provide solutions to real world problems, especially through iGEM. We are left with this overarching question. How can we use synthetic biology and genetic engineering to better the world? How can we use these fields to create solutions to problems? This concept has manifested itself in a variety of opportunities. The most renowned for students being something known as iGEM. iGEM stands for the International Genetically Engineered Machine Competition, an annual competition started by MIT in which students carry out independent research in synthetic biology and genetic engineering to solve problems and provide solutions to issues on all scales. More than 300 teams from across the globe participate in iGEM, which amounts to more than 6,000 attendees at the global iGEM Jamboree, where research is presented, discussed, and prizes are awarded. The Jamboree's attendees are comprised of students at the high school, undergraduate, and postgraduate levels, with King's College London having participated in iGEM since 2018, culminating in us gaining two silver medals, and last year we tipped the scales and won our first gold medal alongside the special prize for best therapeutics project, and were nominated for both the best supporting entrepreneurship and best model. So what are the aims for iGEM? The aims of iGEM are to impart crucial transferable skills to students. These skills include creativity, social awareness, and entrepreneurial skills, combined with an interest in learning about key problems and why current solutions fail. When these skills and interests are coupled with the knowledge of how we can utilize synthetic biology, the results yield novel, groundbreaking solutions to global and local problems. Uh, so here we would like to give some examples of what iGEM teams did in 2020. Leiden, the postgraduate grand prize winners, developed a point of care COVID-19 testing kit to aid the access of testing equipment to low-income countries, as well as providing a more effective method for tracking the spread of disease. TU Kaiserslautern, who won Best Environmental Project, began to tackle the problems of water pollution, which has one of the biggest impacts on the environment and the survival of plant and animal species. They designed a recombinant algae with enzymes that degrade a type of painkillers that pollute water sources and harm aquatic life as a method of reducing the impacts of painkillers polluting the environment. As you can imagine, over 300 teams each year produce their own unique projects, which tackle a multitude of local to global issues. This is something you can fully appreciate when you attend the Giant Jamboree. This QR code should take you to a list of all the prize winners for this year, and we highly recommend you take a look to see what other iGEM teams have accomplished. Not only that, the numerous novel and groundbreaking solutions that have emerged from iGEM teams have accounted for over 150 startup companies. Today, many of these are worth millions of dollars. The most successful startup from iGEM to date is Ginkgo Bioworks, which has been valued at $710 million. iGEM is a competition that keeps on giving. Not only will you have an amazing CV from the experiences you will gain, 
but you'll be part of an exclusive community prided on innovation and success. iGEM is an amazing opportunity to gain experience within the field of synthetic biology. Through different roles, students can gain exposure to a wide range of opportunities, gaining wet and dry lab experience, coding knowledge through the development of a website, as well as the chance to undertake in public engagement, human practices, science communication, as well as furthering their fundraising and entrepreneurial knowledge. We aim to generate a community where we share our resources, events, and empowering opportunities relating to synthetic biology and the wider field of biotechnology, facilitating the ability to acquire skills and knowledge in these areas. Our expectations do not solely target the academic success of the project, but we will also strive to create a dynamic and friendly environment for our team, optimizing communication and organization skills, as well as learning how to work effectively together with our team and other teams through collaborations. In 2020, our team founded Renovate, a project focused on improving treatment for spinal cord injury through the design and modeling of a 3D bioprinted polycaprolactone-based scaffolding, which utilizes a muscle for protein-based bioadhesive coating. As, as you guys know, now our team was the first KCL iGEM team to have won both a gold medal and the prize for best therapeutics project in the overgraduate division, and we were nominated for best model in supporting entrepreneurship, which makes us the most successful team in the UK for iGEM 20, 20, 2020. This year, we will be embarking on phase two of our 2020 project and working towards validating the science of our design and ameliorating our approaches to the social implications of our project through entrepreneurship and inclusivity, to name a few. We plan on having a mixed team of students, including some members from last year's team and those of you who wish to apply. Together, we hope to take this project above and beyond and maybe even win the grand prize. We have attached here a QR code to access last year's project website. This will act as a foundation for this year's project design as we enter phase two of Renovate. We have split the project into two phases due to Corona limiting our access to the lab last year. And therefore we will be using phase two to validate our lab protocols and propose implementation as well as expand on the scope of our project design. In case we face restrictions in the lab again this year, we have planned to move the project in silico. We will be looking for students who demonstrate initiative in reading around our project and students who can offer suggestions on how we can make improvements on our initial phase one design. There is still so much to accomplish with our project and many research questions left unanswered, which is why we look forward to recruiting students with a fresh outlook on our winning project. As I said earlier, we are more than happy to take any questions about the project you may have at the end of the presentation. Our team is divided into six groups. Alia and I, as team leaders, will work towards guiding, supporting, and organizing the team, as well as getting involved with the work when and where we can. Team members will be working together in their subgroups, directed by their subgroup leaders, although teams will be communicating with each other at all times. Our PIs, Anatoly Markiv, Alison Snape, and supervisors Annalisa Pastor and Katerina Alfano will be working alongside us to ensure we are on track with the deadlines, as well as ensuring the team is working to its full potential. Our instructors, Abby and Steph, will be supporting me and Alia as team leaders, as well as using their experience to guide the team members through the project's development. Our mentors will include some of last year's team members who will act to guide us in our project implementation. I was mute. I'm, I'm no longer mute now. So <laughs> now that we have discussed our team dynamic, let's reminisce on the amazing community that iGEM creates. Being part of iGEM 2021 will not only be an incredible experience to develop your academic skills, but you will be part of a wholesome com community who only wish to see you succeed. From my personal experience, last year I was able to meet a group of kind-hearted, driven, um, driven and inspirational individuals who supported me through many of my endeavors. On this slide, we have a collage of some of our greatest memories, our virtual lab moments, the many hours spent on Zoom, the moment we found ourselves on Cypriot TV, who would have thought? And of course, repping our snazzy merch, which is something you can look forward to for this year. Hopefully we'll be walking the streets of Paris in our limited edition hoodies or fleeces. I understand that over the course of this academic year, many of us have felt disconnected from the university community, and it's been difficult to meet and bond with your course mates online. I can assure you that iGEM strives itself on building a family. We promise to provide you with the tools to meet respectful and like-minded students who will surely become lifelong friends. 
It's easy to feel lost in a time like this, but our resilience, our friendships, our passion for science will allow us to overcome even the hardest of circumstances, including a pandemic. We will rise above all challenges and enjoy the journey of success that iGEM deserves. So now I welcome Abby and Steph, this year's instructors, to share their experiences with us on iGEM 2020. Sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Abigail or Abby, uh, and I'll just begin by talking a little bit briefly about some of my experiences with iGEM as a whole. Um, so just quickly, let me just, can everyone still see the slides? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, well, hello everyone. Uh, and as Luke and Alia have mentioned, I was last year's team leader alongside Steph, and I'm this year's uh, an own instructor for this year's team. And I firstly want to start off by saying how glad I am to see so many people interested in iGEM. Uh, this is truly a fantastic experience, and I'm really happy that so many people are so keen to partake in it. And to begin, a little bit about my iGEM experience. So I've been a part of KCL iGEM since my first year at King's, and it has played a huge role in my life ever since. In my first and second year, I worked with Capacity, our 2019 project, and I focused primarily on coding the wiki, uh, which is the bane of every iGEMer's existence. So it's the website that documents all of our work, and it is a huge pain, um, but it can be really rewarding. And I was a deputy leader of that team, so I was also responsible for the management and organization of pretty much every aspect of that project. And then after going to Boston and working super hard all year, I realized how much I love this community. And I knew that I had to stay on for another year, but this time as the team leader. And serving as a team leader was genuinely one of the highlights of my life. I really enjoyed getting to know my team, organizing the project at every level, coming up with new ideas for how we can improve our work and meet metal criteria, and so much more. The science behind the two projects I worked on was also so astounding, from small RNAs and viral capsid geometries to looking to solve spinal cord injury with biomaterials. The things iGEMers are able to achieve at such young ages is really impressive and it is a huge privilege to be able to participate in the conduction of novel groundbreaking research. On this note, I have found participating in iGEM to be very intellectually stimulating and empowering as a young scientist. Through the iGEM community, you can learn so much about how science functions in the real world and how exciting yet difficult scientific research could be. For example, you learn how to manage deliverable deadlines, applying for grants and funding, scientific writing, and so much more that is essential to su succeeding in both academia and industry. Beyond that, you learn about collaborating with other iGEM teams, researchers, clinicians, patients, etc., which is hugely important in an increasingly interdisciplinary world. Yet, I didn't get just gain scientific skills through iGEM. I learned how to code in HTML and CSS, and if you've seen the wiki this year, you know all my struggles to do so have finally paid off. I learned how to edit videos to create illustrations with Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, and so much more. Especially this year, I gained a lot of insight into project management, and I do think I have fully mastered Google Drive, Google Calendar, and Zoom because of it. The best part of iGEM has been, hands down, the friendships I've made. Brainstorming and working and struggling with a group of wonderful students just as passionate as you are is truly the dream of any scientist. And even though most of our team has had nightmares about iGEM, like literally so many people have had wiki nightmares, we made up for it with lots of laughter, super fun Zoom and in-person socials before um, the pandemic, memes and some really chaotic times. I'm already feeling really nostalgic for iGEM 2020, so much so that I actually miss wiki week. However, the difficulty and stress of iGEM cannot be understated. The competition requires a lot from you. You will need to push yourself in ways that you've never thought were possible. I never believed myself to be capable of the things that I've achieved through iGEM. And if you want to do iGEM, you will need to work extremely hard. You have the expectations of your school, your PIs, and your fellow teammates to live up to, and need to do everything in your power to do so. I know Alia and Luke are looking for the best of the best. Um, so if you, we want to continue the legacy of KCL iGEM being the best UK team. 
iGEM is, an ex is the best experience I've had during my time at university, but it is challenging and I've had to make sacrifices to participate in it. That being said, I really look forward to working with those who do make it onto the 2021 iGEM team. I will be instructing the team alongside Steph and I can't wait to see what KCL, KCL iGEM 2021 achieves. And even if you don't make it onto the team, there are plenty of ways to get involved with biotechnology and synthetic biology at King's. For example, you can join the KCL Biotech and Syn Bio Society, which Steph and I co-founded this year. Um, best of luck to everyone who applies, and I can't wait for what this year brings us. Uh, thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, but save them for the end. And I'll now pass on to Steph. Hi, thank you so much, Abby and Luke and Ali and everyone for coming. It's so good to see so many people here, and I hope you're all staying safe and well. I would like to mirror what Abby has said about iGEM. I'm so thankful to have had this transformative opportunity through which I've gained a diverse range of experiences, met amazing people, and been inspired to pursue my future career path. Despite all the positives that have come from this experience, it is crucial to understand the sheer magnitude of the commitment and responsibility which does accompany joining the iGEM team. Alongside the amazing skill development, and opportunities that accompany iGEM is an enormous responsibility and a huge time commitment. The time commitment for iGEM, it's important noting, is significantly more than a King's undergraduate research fellowship or significantly more than the average internship. But despite this, personally, I have found that I've learned so much from this opportunity and a lot more than I would have done from a conventional internship. iGEM is accompanied with a large workload and to be quite frank late and sleepless nights which can lead into stress when balancing your degree and iGEM commitments. We feel it's iGEM in general has been one of the best as a team-led project. The iGEM team is a community who grow, learn, support staff and learn together and whilst the reality of iGEM meant cutting walls were hardly uncommon or even deemed long I've learned so much from this experience and been spending the majority of the day working and enhancing our skill set with people who quickly became friends it's been a true privilege just check my mic's still working sorry I think I dropped out for a second you did for a sec I think it was okay though perfect sorry about that um the research in iGEM is stimulating, the novel innovations we're designing are captivating, and the changing circumstances and often stressful situations provide new challenges to develop your problem-solving skills and adaptability skills. iGEM can be a platform to enhance your practical skills and transferable skills, and you'll learn teamwork and persistence and leadership, all in one go. Especially in the current climate, despite the stresses that come with iGEM, your team leaders will understand that mitigating circumstances may unfortunately occur. And if this does happen, communication is vital to allow you to take the necessary steps back from this team and for the team to alleviate your workload and in some cases bring on someone else if necessary. I know this is a large commitment and that this commitment will not be for everyone. Whilst I'm so grateful to have benefited from this trip having hard my skill set from iGEM, iGEM can be mentally and physically challenging. The reality of iGEM means late nights and full days working on iGEM, even during semester one before the giant jamboree, and balancing iGEM commitments alongside your university work is the priority. I implore you to consider if you're willing to put aside your personal and social life and put these on the back burner of this amazing project. Regardless of whether you do decide to apply to this very competitive team, we would love to welcome you to our Biotechnology and Synthetic Biology Society. Through the society, you can enhance fields, explore other related areas, including bioentrepreneurship, and network with people with the United And now I'd like to pass back to Ali and Luke, the team leaders for 2021. Steph, I think you had some mic problems there, but I hope the message came across to everyone okay. Um, but I think we should move on with the presentation. Perfect. Sorry about that. Handing over no worries, Steph. Thank, thank you so much for doing that. Ask at the end. So, uh, as you have heard from Abby and Steph, which me and Ali can also agree, 
Despite the joys of working as a group of students on a project and the chance to attend the biggest synthetic biology conference in the world, iGEM is very challenging. It is a serious and long-term commitment and we therefore discourage applying unless you are able to fully commit yourself to the project. Although, despite the difficulty of iGEM and the hardships our team underwent last year, especially with the restrictions set in place by the COVID-19 pandemic, all of our team relayed having a positive experience with iGEM. It is worth mentioning that due to uncertainties in the spread of the virus in the UK, synonymous to our team last year, we may be restricted in our access to labs and ability to work together in person. We therefore cannot confirm you'll be able to have a normal iGEM experience. However, as you can see, despite the restrictions of COVID-19, our team are able to put together the most successful KCL iGEM project to date, so it's still possible to do amazing, amazing things despite these drawbacks. We therefore hope this will not discourage you from applying. It is also worth noting that if you plan to take on or continue a part-time job during the summer or experience any mitigating circumstances, we can accommodate for this accordingly, as long as this is communicated with us prior to engagement. So who are we looking for? This year, we are recruiting a team of 15 outstanding and motivated students who work well in a group setting. This number will also include a fraction of reapplications from last year's team. Please do not let this worry you as our supervisors are working to ensure that we are fair in providing this opportunity to other students and will take the ultimate decision in deciding this year's team roster. Our project is split into three subgroups, subgroups which you can apply to. The muscle foot protein team will be working with our protein PVFP5 beta in order to polymerize and purify it. This is a great opportunity for students looking for lab experience and for those who want to apply their, their, their knowledge of chemistry. The bioprinting team will be using both wet and dry lab experience to validate the scaffold's design. This is a great opportunity for students who are interested in learning how to use CAD software and gain experience with Python and MATLAB. On top of this, we'll be completing statistical analysis of our results to optimize our design as part of our dry lab work. This is an opportunity for students looking to utilize their mathematical abilities. We then have the spinal cord injury team, which works on characterizing the microenvironment of the spinal cord, and this year we'll be working to use enzymes in order to treat smaller spinal cord injuries. We'll also be looking for students who enjoy drawing and would like to help us with our project portfolio, as well as people keen to learn how to code websites. On top of this, we are also looking for people who are able to be innovative and adaptive with strong communication skills to, manage, to maintain the team integrity. Keep in mind that iGEM is an interdisciplinary project and accepts all students from different academic backgrounds. We look, we look forward to reading your applications. To reiterate Luke's point, we are looking to recruit an interdisciplinary team of students in order to achieve greatness in 2021. So how do we plan to do this? Our aims for 2021 are to print and validate our 3D printed scaffold, complete our planned protocols in the lab, which entails the synthesis and testing of our muscle foot protein based bioadhesive, as well as demonstrating neurite growth to validate our project's implementation. You can review our suggested protocols on the engineering page of our wiki. We will also be assessing the role of stem cells and enzymes such as CH, AVC, and proteases in treating spinal cord injuries as a potential therapy alongside our scaffold. In addition, we will be placing a focus on improving science communication and supporting inclusivity in the field of synthetic biology. Similarly, we will be working towards refining the marketing and entrepreneurship aspects of our project in hopes of creating a foundation for a potential startup. We will also need to meet our fundraising goals to travel and attend the Giant Jamboree. So we will be looking for students who are keen in setting up fundraising events and working towards bettering our project's public engagement. As aforementioned, the 2020 KCL iGEM team did phenomenally well, and this year we plan to do even better. We aim to not only receive another gold medal and the title of Best Therapeutics Project, but also obtain extra awards in entrepreneurship, modeling, and more. Do I hear future grand prize winners? <laughs> yes, I do. We are striving to win big this year. We are aiming high because we know that with the right team, we will succeed. We are looking for ambitious students who are motivated to make King's College London's iGEM team one of the best in the world. iGEM truly is an amazing experience for students to broaden their horizons and understand the true implications of their, of their actions. Applying to this program has changed my life and I'm sure that if you apply this year, you'll be happily surprised of how much it can improve your university experience. So if you are an outstanding student, hungry for success, we look forward to reading your applications. 
And before we finish, here we have our provisional timeline for this year. Applications will open as of today and close on the 31st of January at midnight. We will send out interview invitations to successful applicants mid-February and hold them over Zoom towards the end of February with hopes of starting IGEM 2021 in the beginning of March. From then, we will have frequent meetings until mid-April where we will take some time off to focus on exams. As we move into the summer break, we plan on having a short vacation for all team members in the beginning of June in preparation for a summer of work. In September and October, we will be finalizing our website, the wiki, and completing the final touches for our projects in hopes of presenting in Paris in November. This timeline is of course very oversimplified and the details of specific project deadlines will be explained to the team once the application phase is complete. I would like to thank our sponsors and um, I, we will send the link to the application forms now. If you guys have any questions or if you do have to run, you're more than welcome to send us a message on our social medias, which you can now see on the, on the Zoom screen. But please submit any questions on the chat box, talk to us, you can turn on your um, videos now as we will stop the recording. And I look forward to hearing everything that you've, you have questions about and just thank you for coming today.